Um, we're here this morning with 30 officers jointly from RMS and police which form the Joint Task Force in New South Wales. Our mission is to obviously target particular companies where the point-to-point -point speeding systems have detected speeding trucks. We're here this morning as a result of 96 heavy vehicles which were detected speeding in point-to-point -point at least 660 occasions um, through the last three months. The Joint Heavy Vehicle Task Force is initiated today following intelligence received through mainly our camera enforcement networks across New South Wales, be it safety cam and point to point. Within two hours of the operation commencing here today, we've identified six trucks which have been dangerously loaded and would not last a journey without causing a severe load shift. So that, those pallets have slipped back from about 10 feet away and they've spun around sideways and the sides of those won't hold them in. That bar is supposed to be hard against the back of the pallets, which are then locked in by other pallets. So it's completely and utterly dangerous. The issue with truck rollovers is, is contained within the issues that we've identified here is movement of load, truck goes around a bend too quickly, suddenly the load shifts. It's a phenomenon, and then the truck falls over, obviously, and potentially injuries and fatal outcome. What we're trying to do here today is get them to load safely, and clearly that's not the case. Again, um, interstate travelling truck. Um, obviously, the load restraint here clearly isn't isn't restraining this load at all. And in fact, if you walk down. Um, that's doing nothing in relation to the pallets. So this, ho this whole load is not correctly restrained and a truck like this, you know, 64 tonnes, 100 kilometres an hour going around a bend, this load will definitely shift and will result in injury or fatal outcome. Enough's enough. Those that risk safety in New South Wales will come under notice. We're conducting more and more of these random distribution centre operations to target vehicles and subcontractors' vehicles of these entities, it is evident that the decisions in the boardroom are breaking the law. That's no good, okay?